this bold Russian, he shouldered his gun, and with his most truculent sneer, while looking for fun, he happened to run upon Ivan Skaminsky's Gavar. Says that uh, young man, has your life grown so dull that you now wish to end your career? Violin infidel, no, you have trod on the toe of Abdul 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 Says Ivan, my friend, your remarks in the end will avail you but a little, I fear. So Wally he struck with that Wally Kalmuck, Mr. Abdul 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 Well, they fought all that night beneath the pale mellow moon, and the din it was heard from afar. A huge multitude came, so great was the fame of Abdul and Ivan's car. The sultan rode up, the disturbance to quell, expecting a victor to cheer, but he only drew nigh. To hear the last cry of Abdul Abdul Amir. Tsar Petrovich, too, in his uniform blue, rode up in his new crested car. He arrived just in time to exchange the last line with Ivan Skaminsky's car. There's a tomb rises up where the blue Danube rolls. And engraved therein characters clear. Is stranger passing by, pray for the soul of Abdul Abdul Amir. Well, Metrovich made her lone Virgil keeps neath the light of a pale polar star. And the name that she murmured so oft as she weeps is Ivan Skaminsky's Kabar.